Hey everybody, we're talking about the F chord today, the lowly F chord, and what it can do in the jazz world and what you can do with it just by changing a couple of notes and getting a lot of great harmonies. As we know, the F chord is basically a major triad with a root an octave higher than the uh, bottom root. This shape is movable anywhere on the guitar, just as any shape that has no open strings. So we can play it here, we can play it here, we can play it here, we can play it anywhere, and uh, wherever these notes are, it becomes the root of the new chord. Now, in this status right here, it's a major chord. We can remove the top root and just have a triad, major triad. Uh, this major triad can be used as a major, a minor seventh, and a couple other things when we change a couple of notes around. We're going to do that right now. Uh, for example, I'm starting up here on B flat, which is going to put the root on the sixth string. If I remove the top root, play this triad, this can substitute for a uh, G minor 7. If I simply put a G on the bottom, and it becomes a G minor 7. We can also take this upper note and move it down a fret, and it becomes either a B flat major 7, if I cheat with my thumb, and put the B flat on the bottom, it becomes a B flat major 7. If I take the same shape while someone's playing a G, low G, it becomes a G minor 9. I'm not very good at that, but you are. Now what if we move some notes on the inside strings? Well, we start with the same uh, triad shape again, and we take that second string note, move it down a fret, and suddenly it becomes a dominant chord. In this case, it's a dominant uh, C or a C9. And I'll replace that finger with this one so this finger can grab the low C note and we have a C9. I move it back home. We have a C11th, otherwise known as a C9 sus. And in the pop circles it's called a B flat over C. And then if I'm barring these two strings here, we start to get a 13th. C13. And I can even move my uh, third string note down a half step, and we have a really cool chord. That's a C13 flat 9. So this is a D flat. That's a great way to start any tune. Now, this particular shape is pretty interesting because if we look at it backwards, if we look at it from the point of view of these notes, this is the top three strings of our original F with this lower note moved up a half step. And uh, it, that's the same chord that made our C 13 flat 9 when we put the root on the C. But what if that's our root? What if the A is our root? Let me put the A on the fifth open string. We've got something interesting here. The simplest way to talk about it is, a, is simply a major chord with an added flat 9. And we get kind of a Lydian chord, or um, maybe a Phrygian mode chord, that we can use in a lot of uh, tunes and a lot of harmonies that have that kind of sound in them. And it's really nothing more than just taking that lower root and moving it up a half step. Uh, so that's just a few things you can do with a lowly F chord. Uh, keep practicing. We'll see you again.